so forgetful when it comes to certain things. I searched for my keys this morning for half an hour because I forgot where I put them yesterday because I took the motorcycle in so I don't take all my keys then. I don't take all my janitor keys, right? So yesterday I had gotten home and uh, I guess I was just so excited to be at home I just put the keys down in a spot where they don't usually go. I have a few spots where I usually put my keys like subconsciously if I just put them down somewhere and forget them. Usually I can just check these spots and you know one of them that's probably where I put it. They're supposed to be hanging in their spot but I know me. However this time I put the keys down in a completely unusual spot where I've never put them before. It took me half an hour to find them sitting right there in plain sight. Crazy. <laughs> so we're on the way grab our coffee uh, going up too long again today and then uh, for me today when I'm filming this it's Friday and this weekend we have some plans uh, what are we doing tomorrow tomorrow's Saturday so tomorrow we're going into Winnipeg uh, this guy just put his vehicle in park in front of me what are you doing making me nervous I just saw his backup lights flicker on Usually that's when uh, you put the vehicle into park or drive, and then you put it back in drive just now. Weird. Okay, you're going forward, not backwards. Okay, that's all that matters. I think... Yeah, I think Brett has a hair appointment tomorrow in Winnipeg. So we're going to go get her hair did, and uh, get a few other things done while we're there. Uh, we've got some friends coming over for a bonfire in the evening. Uh... Who knows what we'll get up to. It's a big day. And then Sunday, we have no plans yet. Sunday, we're thinking we might go back up to Birds Hill and uh, uh, do another hike. There's a whole bunch of trails, just like the Chickadee Trail we did the other week. <clears throat> that one was about four kilometers long. We want to go on a bit of a longer one now. They have a whole bunch of them there, so we might pick a longer trail and go on a nice, nice weekend hike. I don't know. What do you have planned for the weekend? Let me know down below. Got any big plans for the weekend? What do I want? What do I want? All day breakfast. Well, I'd like the morning breakfast. Thank you. Uh, what is that? It's a spinach, feta, and cage-free egg white wrap. No, thank you. That sounds... Well, that actually sounds pretty good. I don't know why they gotta put cage-free egg. Like, who puts their eggs in cages? I don't know. Double smoked bacon and cheddar. That sounds pretty good. Bacon and... Uh, Sous-vid egg bites? I have no idea what you're trying to tell me, Starbucks. I don't know what that is. Sourdough grilled cheese. Oh, that sounds... Maybe I'll try that. Sourdough. You think the dough was sour? Why would they call it sourdough? It doesn't sound good, but I'm going to try it. Yeah. Could I get a, a, a sourdough grilled cheese? And uh, large coffee with two cream. <clears throat> so, was there anything else that you got for today? No, that's it. Sounds good. We'll see you at the lockout. Yep. Sourdough. <coughs> Man, got a frog in my throat right when I started talking there. <laughs> Sounded like I was dying for a second. <clears throat> so, have any of you thought of this as well? I'm just wondering, am I the only one that thinks that Starbucks is missing out on a massive marketing opportunity by offering Starbucks as a reward? Like, you know, five Starbucks gets you this or that is equal to a, an actual buck in real life. You know, three bucks for a coffee or you spend three Starbucks or maybe, maybe make their currency worth a little more. Say one Starbucks gets you a coffee or something, one Starbucks. Or do they do that already? Usually, if I think I came up with a really good, really good idea, I gotta remember that it's 2021, and any good idea that comes into my head, someone else has already thought of and probably already marketed. It's hard to come up with original ideas these days, but uh, that's why when you see something original, you're like, wow. Like, look at movies, for for instance, all the movies being made. All they are are, are, are remakes of old movies. There's no, not a lot of new ideas out there. But I guess, yeah, there is still some. But there's a lot of remakes and a lot of... 
I don't know. I, I think that they're missing an opportunity. Buy a coffee, get a Starbucks or something. You can use those Starbucks to buy other Starbucks. Like actual Starbucks stuff. I don't know. You get what I mean though. You can give it out like little currency, like Canadian Tire money. <laughs> but then again, it's nothing new. Canadian Tire's already been doing that. But it would be cool. I don't know. I don't know. I'm new here. I'm new to Starbucks. Like, don't listen to me. What do I know? You know, I used to think it was gross. What's happening to me? Okay, so this is a VT Pike Place. What does that even mean? I just ordered a large coffee. I don't care. It did its job. <laughs> well, I am wired. Time to go do some trucking. Let's grab a bag out of here. Oh yeah, we'll grab our trailer. Number 605. Yep. And we'll do some trucking. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day for trucking and it's a beautiful day for a Friday. All right, we got our stuff. We got our bag. We got our pit stick. Always use pit stick. Some of you need a reminder every now and then. all over the floor sometimes I uh, <laughs> sometimes I go into those trailers and uh, whoever had it before me leaves uh, the gift of cleanup to me they're very generous people I always love cleaning up their mess for them but no <laughs> this, this trailer is uh, in good shape I can't get between any of these trailers though holy smokes can we get through here Yep, there we go. Come with me. Not like you have a choice. All right. What's going on back here? I guess I should have hooked up the lights first. Now I gotta come back here again to check the lights. I wanted to make sure everything was latched up here. These trailer tires are up. Oh, but look at this. You see this? I'm gonna have to put that down and move that ratchet out of the way. That ratchet shouldn't be so close to that tire. Remember we talked about that? That uh, was it last week. Got to make sure that uh, those ratchets are far away from those lift tires. Oh, this one here too. This one's not too far away, but this is here. Uh, this won't touch the tire though. It's just for when you go over bridge connections, right? And the trailer the suspension goes up and down. Sometimes these tires touch the ground and they start spinning. And if you have these ratchets right here, when that happens, you go over a bridge connection, this spins, it actually rips a chunk of tire out on that. So in that case, it's better to always have this thing down, but sometimes you know, you want to use it for its intended purpose and lift it, save fuel, or save money on tolls, wherever you are, because uh, tolls are usually charged by axle on the ground. So this truck has one, two, three, four, five axles on the ground, but if we put this down, that's another axle on the ground, which means an extra, what, $5, $5.50, depending on which toll road you're on. 
Sometimes you just want to save that money. Adds up after a while if you go through like, you know, five to ten different toll booths, five bucks a shot. The tire gets very expensive and you save quite a bit if you just have it off the ground, but you got to make sure that these things aren't going to defeat the entire purpose and destroy your tire anyway. Then you got to replace the tire right away. No one likes replacing tires that don't need to be replaced. Seems that all the smoke is cleared out of our out of our atmosphere around here. All of that rain this last week must have done done a lot of good for the forest fires around here. I know there's a lot more burning all around the world. It's kind of crazy, eh? You gotta wonder, like, is there more forest fires happening now than there used to be? Or are we just hearing about it more because now we have the internet and global instant media? Because, you know, if there was fires in Africa a hundred years ago, you wouldn't hear about it until the news would literally travel by boat to our shores and then be spread from our shores inland. Most times you probably would never even have heard about it. But now, I mean, if there's a fire in South Africa, boom, we hear about it that second. Not months from now, not weeks from now, not even days from now. That second we hear about it. So there's fires in Siberia, in Africa, in Greece, all across Europe, in the, the Amazon. And of course in North America here in the US and we hear about them all at the same time. So it seems like there's so many fires all burning at the same time. Whereas in the past, we probably would have only heard about our local situation. You know, I'm, I'm wondering if that has a part to play in it. Like I'm not saying that's what's going on, but you know, there are people out there that are saying that they are increasing. Or is the news just increasing? I don't know. I'm just a truck driver and a YouTuber and a TikToker now. <laughs> oh, I made my first TikTok the other day. Did you guys see that? You can find me on TikTok, uh, just the at symbol at TJV TikTok. TJV TikTok. You know, find me on TikTok, you can find my first, my first TikTok. <laughs> I know it sucked me in. It sucked me in. I thought it was so lame. And then I watched one, and then I watched another one. And then before I knew it, I was hooked. So I made one. You guys, if you guys are into that. If not, I don't blame you. Be careful. Once you start, it's hard to stop. Well, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what today brings anyway. We got clear sky, well, not clear skies, clear air, which has been really nice. It's supposed to be a really nice weekend, and then more rain next week. I'm on my way up to Toulon. I gotta pick something up. I'm gonna need to fuel up the truck. There's a petrol pass right up here. I am at about a quarter tank and that last quarter drops way faster than the rest. So it's probably less than quarter tanks already. Fill it up today and she'll be ready for Monday. Just a little card lock with a lot of recycling out back apparently wow at least they're recycling <laughs> that's a big pile where'd all that come from nice. the whole town drop it off here or what need me some go-go juice okay we don't want marked diesel because that's for the farmers because the farmers get the special fuel special cheap fuel something about them you know making food for us or something I don't know okay lovely let's uh, put ourselves on duty not driving we're fueling let the government know what I'm doing again they're always so nosy all right let's go okay so Again, this is one of the card locks where you just sort of string it across. I'm gonna start with this side and then do the other side next. Pump five, don't let me forget that, pump five. Enter pump number five. Give me some juice, come on, use pump selected. Absolutely, absolutely. 
Oh, there comes the dump truck. Maybe he's gonna pick up all of that uh, recycling over there. I bet that's where he's headed. Oh, 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 yep. Or is he coming to get fuel? She's thirsty. Apparently he wanted fuel. He walked back over there to the garbage pile. I don't think he's gonna carry all those bags over here. Who knows? His truck smells like manure. Oh. 769 liters. Let's do some math here. You guys ready for some math? I know you didn't expect that this morning when you clicked on this video. Times, what's diesel at right now? About $1.20? But $922 or so, nine hundred over $900 worth of fuel bought today. That's from this past week, approximately. I think there was a little less. I don't remember the last time I fueled up. But uh, for the Americans, you guys in your funny measurements, uh, 769 liters divided by 3.78, that would be 203.4 gallons, U.S. gallons. Not imperial gallons. quite busy on this road this is our uh, terrible intersection here once again uh, shouldn't be too bad but it is Friday and it's quarter after five uh, so there's gonna be a lot of traffic leaving the city but most traffic's headed out to Falcon Lake out west or north not a lot of traffic would be going down going down 59 i don't think but uh, we'll see how long do you think we're going to be sitting here we're waiting for all that traffic over there i've got to get onto that lane there and go that way now by the time i see the traffic up on top of this bridge here it's too late and now i can't go anyways until that lane is clear so we'll just watch that way most of those cars are going down the south perimeter. You see that? That's a different road altogether. So I think we're clear. Oh, 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 I'm going to go for it. I'm going to. Nope, that car's in this road. See, it's hard to tell. This car coming here, I thought it was on the other road over there going down the perimeter. No, nope, it's on this one. I would have cut right in front of him if I would have gone. There's cars coming from there, there's cars coming from there. Uh, this isn't too bad yet. You guys timing this? How long is this gonna take? All right, if there was an opening now, I could go now. I have a feeling I'm just gonna have to send it. And just hope for the best. Got a long lineup of cars behind me already. Sorry guys. Nothing I can do about this. I'm not the one that signed off on this intersection. Okay, so after this pickup, I got quite a bit of big break there. Okay, now we need a break here on this direction, after these two cars. Yep, after these two cars, I'm gonna send it. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be tight, this is gonna be tight. Woo! Missed the gear, missed the gear. That's not good, all right. Woo! Oh, the guy behind me royally cut off that car. Dude, why did you do that? That SUV just about got rear-ended by that car. Ah, that intersection is so dangerous. I really wish they would fix that already. I know it's expensive. I know what I ask is expensive. But how much is one life worth, right? 
How many lives does it take to justify them fixing an intersection like that, right? There's always a limit. You know, a couple of people will die there and they'll have a couple of meetings. A couple more people will die and oh, oh, they'll, someone will make a statement in legislature about it and then forget about it. And then a couple more people will die and they'll still do nothing about it. Sorry, I'm yelling. Sorry, gotta keep my voice down. Don't raise your voice, Trucker Josh. Calm down. I know. I get mad at these things. I get mad that it takes people dying for the government to act sometimes. And I live out here on these highways, so I'm passionate about highways and I know that there's a safer way of doing things. And I know there's better ways, yet they still do it the backwards way every time here in Winnipeg. Every time. It's so frustrating. The city planners here have no idea what they're doing. They don't consult anybody who actually drives on them. I'd love it if they'd give me a call and ask my opinion, you know? We could save ourselves intersections like that. No one needs to die. No one needs to lose their life because of poor planning, right? Passionate about these things. Gets me going. Gets me going. But it's Friday, so we're gonna release those feelings right now. And we're gonna fill ourselves with excitement and fun because it's gonna be the weekend, all right? It's gonna be the weekend. Well, that took a long time. That took all day. That's all I'm doing today. So now I'm back and uh, everyone else is gone already. So I figured I'd just park right in the middle of the lot there and give you some behind the scenes footage as I go to place you guys down right over there so you can watch me back up. Think I can get her in in one shot? I make no promises. I am gonna put you down, hmm, I could put you down right here, or right there, or in there. Where do you guys wanna sit? Where do you guys wanna sit? How about on this bumper here, okay? How about like right here? You're out of the way then. But you don't get that good of a view, right? If I put you here, I might drive over you again. We don't want that. I promise to take much better care of you guys now. I'm a man of my word. Uh, how about here? And you're sort of facing up a little bit because this thing is bent. How about there? Right there. I think that's a good spot. You're going to be right here, okay? I need you all to hang on. Alright? You got one job. Hang on. Don't fall. You guys, five stars for holding on tight. Well, you didn't even fall down. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, dang it. 